It's easy to be mesmerized by what you see in front of you along the shores of Holmes Harbor on Whidbey Island. I think we should go right down there by those big boulders and then we can really do something. But if you don't look down or literally under your feet, you'll be missing another world, a thriving ecosystem bustling with activity. Oh, 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 oh. For nearly 20 years, Jan Holmes has been leading volunteers of the Island County Beach Watchers on educational excursions. They monitor the health of 37 different beaches on Whidbey and Camano Islands. It's an intertidal scavenger hunt. They measure slopes on beaches to see if they've eroded at all in the past year. Okay, Let's go 10 feet from this stake here. They monitor the number of species that scurry over and under the pebbles. How do their numbers compare to previous years? Oh, lots of flatworms, big flatworms. And they keep a detailed list of everything they find. It's information that goes into a big database that can be analyzed later in a laboratory. It is information they can share with other scientists. There's a lot of life here already. We haven't moved two feet and we've seen five species. And um, this is just the upper intertidal. When we get down there um, 10 or 15 more feet, we're going to end up with a species list um, on this beach that's probably, you know, we'll end up with 60, 70 species. Some are species most of us have never heard of. The segmented worm, the periwinkle snail, and the hooded nudibranch. Oh, okay, here's an aha moment. This is a flatworm. It's alive, see it? It looks like a piece of moving chewing gum. Her passion for the beach and its inhabitants is contagious. I just love the animals. I love the biology of the animals. When I, when I learn about a new animal, I wanna know what it eats, what eats it. I wanna know how it lives. I wanna know how it burrows. I mean, it's, I just, I wanna know the ecology. But it's not enough to simply monitor what's going on here. She wants to share what she knows and finds with others who are interested. If I can bring things to them, the people that don't have a background in marine science and make it interesting and fun and make them want to continue, that's kind of my role. You know, you'll hear, ooh, ooh, when somebody finds something interesting, you never know what you're gonna find out here. Team, we have an enormous lion's mane jelly over here on the beach. That's an ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> This is a species of lion uh, jellyfish we have on our beach. This is the lion's mane jelly, and um, it has tentacles that sting with a vengeance, and so you never want to get near one of these guys. The Beach Watchers program was founded in 1989 by the Washington State University Extension in Island County. Its purpose is to understand, value, and protect Island County's priceless marine environment. Don Meehan started the program and says Jan Holmes has been a valuable part of it for 20 years. We have this beautiful place we live in and, and she is a local citizen and she didn't get paid. She's strictly volunteering. Uh, she's gone the extra mile. I've always thought of her as kind of a poster child in some respects for the Beach Watchers program because when she came into the program she, she was so inspired she went off and got two degrees. Okay we have anemones. Yes, right here, look at this one. Whether she's digging for little critters or riding the Salish Sea, monitoring eelgrass that provides habitat for microscopic animals, Jan Holmes is committed to learning as much as she can about these beaches and passing it along to her neighbors who live along the shores of these beautiful islands. It's not just the plants and animals that live here. It's the connection that we have. Things we do up there impact this beach, and we all know that now, but we didn't know that before. And it's important to keep educating people so they can tell their neighbors and their kids that, you know, if you have a leaky septic out there, it's going to impact these animals here. If you put in a bulkhead, it's going to impact them. Jan Holmes hopes a different kind of impact. Her impact will be enough to sustain life on this Puget Sound ecosystem for years to come. Angela Russell, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News.